Hello and welcome to Oracle Fusion Cloud Release 13 training for procurement. In this video, we are going to see how to create question and qualification area in SQM. I will go to the procurement, click on supplier qualifications, click on task and under the setup, I will click on manage questions. On this page, I can search my existing questions. I can also create questions on this page by either clicking on actions, create, or just click on the plus sign to create new question. The question we create here, we can use them in various places. It could be a SQM qualification question. It could be a supplier registration question, registration approvals, or it could be a negotiation requirement question. So you have to alter this question accordingly. To start with, I'm going to create a question where I will ask what was your establishment year. Okay, so it's my financial question. I will just provide the question text as financial. For example, this is my first question. I will just put a financial one. Now the question is only for a reference, which will help us to identify the question details. It is not an actual question it will not be visible to suppliers. So to identify, I am just providing a financial questions. Then I will write down the question text, which will be visible to supplier, right? So this can be a very simple question to supplier. What is your date of establishment? Or you can have more complex details on this question, maybe with bullet points, uh, numbers, or you can have links where supplier can go to and review those details there and come back here and answer this question. You can also have uh, various size and uh, type of the fonts for the question. And you can create questions with different text colors. Okay, you can highlight some of the portion of the question uh, with background color and uh, alignment. This is the question text that supplier is going to review or the responder, whoever is going to respond to this question is going to review this text, not the question itself. Okay, so they will not be able to see this question, but they will be able to see and read the question text. So we have to focus more on question text. Now question label can be either supplier or supplier site. That means you are going to ask this question to supplier any site, they can answer this question. Or you can ask the question to a particular site where only people assigned to that site can answer this question. It could be a site specific question, right? So that way you can establish the question level. Responder type will help you to mark this question as either internal or external. If you select responder type as supplier, this question becomes an external question. If you mark as an internal, it becomes an internal question. Now many times you want to ask a question related to supplier's profile and you want to update their profile based on their answer here. where I can map this question to these attributes. I only have a limited attributes. So that means I cannot have all the profile attributes from supplier, but only these attributes supplier can answer. Now let's say if you want to change the supplier type by asking this question or this question I'm going to ask is the year or date of establishment then i can select this attribute year established and click ok right so whenever the supplier will answer this question the answer will update their profile in question type i have three types of question so it could be a one answer it could be a multiple answer from the list or it could be supplier's own answer in the text format for example i'm going to select multiple choice with single selection now, when I select this option, I have to provide multiple choices. So it could be one choice or more than one. These are my two options I want to give. Now, when supplier select this response, I want to also ask for a supporting attachment. In that case, I will mark the response attachment as required. So if supplier selects the response 2020, the attachment becomes mandatory. With the multiple choice 
single selection or multiple choice multiple selection i can have an automatic scoring as well so when i select the scoring as automatic i can provide what is the score responder will get when they answer option a or option b or i can have a manual score where i can provide a maximum scoring criteria now at this stage i would like to be a consistent in the maximum scoring criteria so what i will do is i will go to the configuration procurement business function in setup and maintenance and i will check what is my maximum requirement score mentioned there so i will use this scale in here so this question is scoring question and the maximum score i can provide is 5 if i want to get some comments from supplier i will say allow comments from responder i can also mark this question as critical question if i want to get the answer in particular format before they answer it i can provide those information in the form of attachments for example this could be a question for question asking for a project plan and uh, you want to provide a project scope so i can review the scope of the project and provide your project plan accordingly so once you're happy with entering the question you can scroll down and go to the classification area where you can classify this question where you can add this question so you can read or we can find this question easily later i can have a second tag which is standard organization which i can provide from the list right so this will help me classify those questions uh, i can author hundreds of questions and uh, if i classify them properly i will be able to find them easily whenever i want once you're happy with the data entry you can click save and you can activate the question right so this question i have is a scoring question where the scoring is manual and since i have unchecked these response required checkbox it becomes a non-mandatory question let's go back and map this question with the supplier attribute and also mark the response required and make it mandatory so the hint is uh, what is the format of the answer the y y y format right so this is how i author the question and i will activate this question fine I will create another question this is the second question for supplier it is going to be a multiple choice selection question where I'm going to score it manually and the question is how many employees you have this multiple choice selection question I have to provide some answers where supplier can select the answers from for example it's a startup with one to four employees or five to twenty employees or it could be twenty one to hundred employees now with this questions you can also have a response attachment where if supplier's response is twenty two sorry supplier's response is five to twenty you want them to provide their attachment or you can have a branching question where you can ask certain questions based on certain answers for example suppliers answer is startup then i want to ask a question what was their year of establishment so i will select branching question and in the branching question area i will select one of the question which i just created it was a financial question again where the subject area was as three what is your establishment year of establishment fine so i will select this question and okay and then click okay so now we have a branching question for this answer so if the responder will answer this question as a startup they also have to answer another question which says what is your year of establishment i will also save this question and activate so i added these two questions now let's create a qualification area and add these two questions actually one question to the qualification area and complete the cycle now go to tasks and click on 
manage qualification area. Now on this page, we can search the qualification area with the various filters available here, or we can go with an advanced option to add more filters, or I can just create new qualification area by clicking on action, create, or click on plus sign to create new qualification area. The qualification area has two parts, which is overview and second part is questions and outcome. Let's name the qualification area. You can provide the description of this qualification area and the name of the author of this area. Then expiration reminder, it could be in days, months or weeks. Now, If I want to share the outcome of the qualification, I can mention shared qualification with supplier. When I select the summary, I have options to share supplier's response, yes or no, and internal response, yes and no. And I can also provide some notes to suppliers when I'm sharing the response. Optionally, we can also add enough supporting attachment here. So suppliers can review those attachments and respond accordingly. The qualification can be either a global or a business unit specific. So if I enable the global access to this qualification, I have to provide the qualification owner details for each business unit that I want to add. Optionally, I can also have a qualification owner for this qualification area here. The qualification owner will, will qualify the responses that supplier or responder will provide. Now scroll down and you will see scoring and automation uh, if supplier has already answered such certain questions last year or last month uh, and you want to auto populate those answers to supplier you can select the automatically popular response checkbox many times supplier will send the response and before you send that response to a qualification owner or scoring team you want to review those responses in that case, we need a step where I can accept these responses or reject these responses or ask for more information. If that is not the case, we can skip that part and we can select automatically accept responses. I can also enable the scoring on the qualification area and the scoring can be either automatic or manual scoring. It depends on the questions that we are going to add in the qualification area. If questions are automatic scoring enabled, it is better we also put the automatically evaluation qualification uh, at the qualification area level. But if the questions are manually scored, then it will not work. Just like a questions uh, classification, we can also classify the qualification area. So we can find them later. Now click on questions and outcomes. So in the questions and outcomes area, I can either add a predefined questions, which I already authored and activated them. I can select and add from the list, or I can create a new question. So when I create a new question, I must activate it before I save and close that question, or I can have uh, predefined questions, which I already created earlier and add those here. And you can see that the how many employees you have is the question I want to ask. Now, because this is scoring enabled, I have to provide the weight on each questions. I can either go for manual option or I can equalize the weight. So this list of qualification comes from the qualification lookup. Let me remove some of the outcomes, which I don't want. Right, so I have these options which says So now I have added the, the scoring criteria as well. So based on the score, I will get the output automatically. We make sure that the score do not overlap. Uh, otherwise it will confuse the system and you will get the error uh, before we activate it. And now we can activate the qualification area. So this is how we create question and qualification area in SQM. Thank you.